Here at Bloke on the Range, we like to concern ourselves with the important questions in life, such as when your Lee Enfield is empty during a, a rapid fire competition or practice, should you reload 10 rounds in charges or five rounds in charges? There's only one way to find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a round in, start my shot timer, fire it, reload with five rounds, fire again, and uh, see how long that takes. I will then do the same with 10 rounds, and if that takes longer than twice what it takes to do five rounds, we know that it's quicker to do fives. If it's inconclusive, we might rinse and repeat a bit, the whole head and shoulders treatment. I've also got a spare mag, so we're gonna try that as well. And as usual, like in the uh, Mad Minute series, we're not going to concern ourselves with pouches or anything for the moment. Let's uh, just try it as it is. So, round one, fight. I spent too much time lying down already today. So, Right, so five rounds, shot timer, in the aim. Bad charger, bad charger. 637. So let's try that one again. Aha, screw up. Six. Once more for good luck with uh, one charger. Double recorded. Ba 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 ba. Five sixty. So uh, next up is a double reload and if this takes more than 10 11 12 seconds we probably have our answer Ah, so that time the uh, the thing double counted. So it's nine sixty one minus twenty nine is uh, yeah nine uh, nine forty ish. So that's possibly quicker. Let's uh, let's do another twofer. Oh, I'm loading them asymmetrically because uh, this is S and B ammo. This one's going to be slower. Well. Didn't double count. 869. I think that's looking like uh, less than double the time. So let's take my slickest charger and see if I can beat that. Right, just a one. Four thirty-six. Um, yeah, one more. Same charger. There's such variation in the chargers.
433. So with a slick charger, we're doing about 433. Uh, the double reloads were sort of in the eight, eight-ish, nine-ish uh, region. So I think that's, the answer is probably there's not a lot in it. If uh, all else is being equal. Let's try a, let's try a mag change. This needs two hands though. Five twenty six. Five twenty two. So if you can use both hands and it's right in front of you, that is by far the quickest. The next question is what about if we're using some sort of pouch or pocket? Right now. A charger is disposable, it just goes on the floor. A magazine, I know we tend to drop them in competition uh, these days, but uh, in military terms, it's an expensive item. It needs to be retained in a pouch. There are no pouches for these, so I'm just using a uh, holster. So, same deal. Now, uh, in reality, you'd be drawing out of a bandolier or out of a, a pouch, but that's fairly reasonable. Prone would have been a bit more difficult. I'm making my life a little easier by standing up here, so I can move around, move, uh, move both arms. So uh, let's try the magazine now. With stowing it. Eleven oh one. That must have been really bad. Ah, uh, okay. That was, must have been exceptional, right? Huh. Seven ninety five. That was better. Again. Seven seventy six. Standing up. I suspect if I was prone, that would be a little bit more on the tricky side. Okay, so this time I'm prone. I think I'm going to want to do everything with my right hand. I've got retention on that, and I'm going to have to put the other one into retention because if I'm lying down, the chances are it'll fall out. When you're standing up, it's something you can deal with later. And then in the middle here, middle pouch, I have a charger clip. To be honest, the German pouches are better than uh, British bandoliers, but then the British equipment was designed around carrying a pair of brain gun mags there. And uh, the rifle was rather secondary. So. Oh, and again, it's annoying me. Jeez. So 893 minus 22, so about 875 that time. Um, it's getting the pouch open makes a difference, of course. But let's go for the mag change with retention. Fourteen sixty-five. Not particularly surprised by that, to be honest. Let's just get another round of ammunition. Do that again. 
These actually fit pretty well in uh, in this holster. Ah, that's not in straight. Mag's gone in wonky. Yeah, these were not designed to be used like this. Try that again. Oh, that's going to be rim gem. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Right. Try again. Eighteen oh four fumbly. Once more. Right. Basically, what's happening here is you end up faffing with the pouch, and the modern solution is dump pouches on your legs or ch uh, chucking them down the front of your smock or whatever. But back in the day, a okay, originally they were designed to be changed, but they were designed to be changed by people standing up in formation and uh, sort of in the in the in the very early era, the uh, uh, the Remington Lee era, the Lee Metford trials era um, effectively they take up a lot of space on your belt and that retention the retention issue is a big big deal and in case anyone was ever wondering why armies went for char almost universally in fact, pretty much universally for charger clips rather than detachable magazines until until we get quite a bit later I mean even even the Second World War uh, era uh, semi-autos G43 SVT40 you had three magazines and then you were on charger clips you had three magazines if you were lucky um, and they had to be retained and they had to go into pouches and you're faffing with pouches if you're prone uh, it's difficult to get stuff in and out of pouches as soon as you put a pouch into the equation everything gets slower I mean, even even with the with the charges, because you've got to get them out with a bandolier you've got to faff around getting them through the folds of, uh, of cotton to get them out but at least as soon as you've got the rounds in the rifle you're off you don't have to worry about it anymore they're they're in the charger clip uh, falls on the floor no one cares anymore anymore these these are no it's just like no okay standing up not having to worry about retention because you're doing it off a bench yes it's quicker um, as soon as you're prone it needs two hands um, even if it doesn't need two hands even the uh, um, the Swiss magazines that can be that can be changed with one hand. It's the retention issue. So uh, there you go. So now, uh, depending on what type of uh, multiple magazine rapid fire shooting you use, uh, how your rifle compares, it seems that there's very little difference between uh, loading one charger and loading two chargers. Certainly in this one, um, this is rim jammy ammo, but I was staggering them. So take your take your pick as to as to as to whether you load one or two mag changing if you don't have to do retention but if i ever get the opportunity to shoot an ipsc type match with this again i'm on stripper clips i'm on stripper clips easy much 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 uh, simpler so there you go hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe please consider supporting us on patreon and very many thanks to uh, kudu shooting center in um sion canton valley in switzerland for the generous use of their range so uh, bye